Okay, we're here with Charlie and the clarinet. So Charlie was telling me earlier that uh, uh, probably the number one thing that gets instruments in the shop is putting it together, the assembly. So it's, Charlie, you're gonna show us a little bit about that right now. Sure, so there's a couple key things to putting the clarinet together properly. First being that your corks are greased properly so it's easy for the instrument to go together. So what I like to do is start with the lower joint here, grab my cork grease. With this, a little bit goes a long way. Apply a little cork grease to the cork and rub it in with your finger. Bring it all the way around. It's handy to have a little paper towel next yeah, to you. Yeah, because if like you're that. sitting at your seat in the, ba messy. in the band room, that's right. You, you're going to play your instrument with greasy fingers, aren't you? Yeah, so it's always helpful to have that. And this is something that you don't need to do every time you put it together. You only need to do this when the instrument is hard to put together. The right. grease will actually uh, soak so, into so, the cork. So if you went through this whole process of greasing the, greasing the corks on a Monday, when would you think you would need it again? Ballpark? Realistically, maybe not again for three to four weeks. Okay. Yeah. But when you feel it getting tight, Correct. It's, it's time to get the gold cork grease out. When it's dry, right. it's time to apply some cork okay. grease. Okay, okay, good. So then, when you put together the lower joint, an important thing to do is to close what's called the crow's foot. And how I like to do this... Can you hold I, that up so they can see a little closer there, the crow's foot? Yeah. So the crow's foot here is these two lower keys. And the best way to put it together would be to take your hand and close the keys. All right? Yeah. When they're open, you can easily bend them. So then I take the belt and I'm twisting from left to right. Okay. I'm not just shoving it straight on. And you've got a greased cork, which and you've got it. Yeah, and you yeah. want it to be easy like that. Right. All right. So once you have this together, you can take your upper joint. This one has two corks on it. The first one you want to grease would be the middle tenon cork here. Right. You take your cork grease once again and do the same process. But this cork's smaller, you don't need as much. Okay. Once again, wiping it, away the excess. Yeah, you want to do that because you don't want to have globs of cork grease coming yeah. out when you put your instrument together. I see that all the time when it comes in. And, yeah. You know, it, it'll actually cause the cork to be too loose and slide around too much. And so, so it might be a good thing for the kids to have a paper towel in their case. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. So then when you put the upper joint together, there's also one key that you need to close again. This one here is called the bridge key. Right. right. Bridges the two joints together. Can we show that all the way down? So it's all the way down over the cork. Correct. It's the one that hangs down. All right. So what you want to do is use your finger and close the bridge key. And then when you're uh, applying it to the upper joint or putting it in, you once again want to twist left yeah. to right. Now the important thing here is to line up the bridge yeah, key. Yeah, hold it up so they can see it. We're zoomed in about as far as we can go right there. So, so as you see, when the bridge key is together properly, it sits in the middle, and now it moves both together. Yeah, now, we can't see because of those keys there. All right, so, yeah. where do you want it, like this? Yeah, there you go. So the bridge key is in the middle of both keys. Right. And moving both. Now, the, when it's wrong, if you have it either to the, a little bit to the right, right. or to the left, so it, it should be a straight make, line. It should be a straight line. When it's off, it, the instrument does not play properly. And it can cause a lot of trouble when going over the brake. Yeah, so you see that happening a lot coming a into lot. the shot. Okay, okay. Definitely. Okay. Um, and then the final piece to assemble would be to put the barrel onto the other upper joint, or onto the top of the upper joint. Once again, applying cord grease, a little bit goes a long way, and then wiping it off. And when you put together the upper joint, we're just twisting left to right. One thing when you put the clarinet together is you never want to assemble it this way, where it's standing upright and you're slamming the instrument together. It can cause a breaking of the tenon, all sorts of problems. So we want to hold the instrument and twist left to right. And when you grab the instrument there, you're going to grab it where? It, like if, at the top, you're going to try to... I'm going to, I'm going to not grab it on the trill keys and the A and A flat key. I'm gonna grab it in the main section here. Kind of like they're pressing down keys Correct. anyway. Yeah. You wanna be careful not to put your hands all over the trill keys because they can easily bend right. from left to right. And if they stay open, you've got a squeaky clarinet. Yeah, it'll cause a lot of problems. That's great, okay.